What's up, everybody? Welcome to Schnaz Cam. Uh, big announcement. We have a new website, and it's beautiful. And I want to thank my friends, Hanan and Justin, for making such a beautiful website. I'm really impressed with their work, and they've been uh, invaluable to me getting this all up and running. So I just wanted to give you a quick look at a couple of things because we have another big announcement. We are opening up some order slots again. So uh, take a look. Here's the home page of the website. Got this nice line artwork of all the different models, some crispy pictures, but what is this here? Oh, look. Midwestern order slots are open now. What? So we'll click on that and look at this beautiful page. Uh, you all may recognize this artwork here, Bass Guitar Hub on Instagram. Nikita went ahead and made mock-ups of all of our different models um, so we could have some beautiful new artwork on the website. And also so that we could uh, scroll down and have, look at that, there's some more. Look at all the different versions. You see where this is headed? Not yet? How about this? We have a configurator. That's right, configurator. Build your own base, customize and order now. So I just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of how this works. It's pretty self-explanatory, but it's really freaking cool. So let's build a base. We're gonna build a right-handed base. Sorry, the left-handed option does not change the orientation on the screen. We cheaped out there, but I promise everything else is awesome. So I like ebony fingerboards. Boom, done. Pickup. I mean, I gotta, I gotta say the B90 and dummy coil is my favorite, and I love a cream cover. So let's throw that on there. Body finish. I'm gonna have to go Tim LeGray. I mean, tell me that that doesn't look real nice, real, real nice. Um, I don't want a competition stripe. I think they look cool, but this is my base, and so I'm gonna. You can you can see the different options there. Kind of neat, but I'm gonna go ahead and say no competition stripe. And for me, I don't know that uh, parchment perloids kind of classy. Tortoise looks pretty good too, but I'm a simple guy, so I'm gonna leave a black pick guard on there. I like the black knobs. Parchment knobs would look cool too, but. Again, no frills. It's got to be lollipop tuning keys, right? It's got to be. And strings, Dunlop flat wounds, yes, please. So uh, there's my base. Uh, if I want to, I can take a photo. This is going to download it. So now I've got that image saved. So you can save multiple different configurations if you're kind of undecided and you need to compare them side by side. Super cool feature. But I'm ready to go. And so I'm going to go ahead and just add this to my cart. Um, I will also note that you can go ahead and reset. So that, that's going to automatically clear out the form. But let's say, you know, you're building a base and you're kind of like, ah, I don't like where this is going. Go ahead and hit this little refresh, reload button here, and that's going to take it back to the standard kind of default option. Um, and beyond that, it's pretty self-explanatory. We'll go into our cart here. We can go uh, make sure, you know, it shows a little picture of your instrument. That looks right to me. We've got the price. And right here, you'll see due today. So the way we have this set up is that um, you're just going to pay a deposit. It'll automatically calculate a 40% deposit for you. Um, once you enter your address in here, it will also calculate shipping. And when you go to checkout, it's going to give you some options. You can use PayPal. Uh, you can use a credit card. You can use PayPal Pay Later if you want to kind of do some payment plans. But I want to stress that due today, this deposit amount is all you're going to be charged right from the get-go. And then what's going to happen is once you get that deposit into us, we will, you know, obviously be notified and we will reach out to you. Um, with a little bit more information. As you can see here, I've listed that the current lead time is approximately six months. Now this could obviously change um, given different you know, batches and, and scheduling and all of that. So you will get an email with more detailed information 
then we will go ahead and build your base. You'll wait the uh, you know expected lead time, and once we are ready, we will reach out again. Some, it's kind of similar to how we do it now, and we'll say, "Hey, your base is ready to go. Um, you know, please confirm your shipping address for us, and then we will send you a pay PayPal invoice for the final balance." Um, probably PayPal. We've still been using PayPal. Maybe QuickBooks. Maybe we'll switch over by then. Who knows? But either way, you'll get an invoice from us for the final balance, and we will ship you your base. It's that simple. So uh, for right now, the Midwestern is the only base that we are opening up for orders in this way. We have a limited amount of slots as well, because this is kind of like a beta test. We want to make sure that this all runs smoothly. We want to make sure that there's no major bugs and everything. So we've got a limited amount of slots for these Midwestern configurated orders. Uh, once those close down, I will let you all know, but you know, we'll likely leave the configurator up just so folks can play around with it, because why not? That's fun. And we have all of the artwork ready for the other models as well, so we hope to continue to do uh, sort of this style of ordering. So here, check out the Lincolns. I love, I love looking through these. So much fun, all the different colors. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for right now is to sort of do these rolling batches where, okay, this month we're opening up Midwestern slots. Once those close up, then maybe we'll open up some Lincoln slots and so, so on and so forth. As, to, as opposed to the sort of full custom shop thing that we have been doing. Um, I want to stress again that full customs will likely come back again in the future, but we want to sort of see this through and see how this works for us before we go ahead and, and get back to the full custom shop. And one last thing, uh, shop available stock up here, please do keep in mind, uh, this is not the live version of the website, so these bases are not accurate, but we will always have uh, readily available instruments here as well. I shouldn't say always, but we are working on you know, building spec builds as well so that if you don't want to wait for a custom order, you can skip the line and buy something that is ready to go. So uh, that's all I have for right now. Thanks for watching and uh, yeah, have fun poking around on the website. Really excited to see what you all think and I can't wait to see uh, what kind of bases you all configure. Don't, don't be shy and, you know, post some of those on social media and show us what you've created. Uh, always love seeing what you folks are up to. Thanks. Bye.